Well, we've managed to find Ali's Marshall Eagle with its Diker kill again this morning. It's just on the southern side of Treehouse Dam, and it seems as though it's flown a little bit south. It was on the ground with the kill, but it has flown up, and there it goes. You can see it's still got the back legs, and off it moves towards another tree. But that was very cool to see. So, still feeding off its Diker, still managing to get nutrients out of it, which is really quite amazing. I would have thought that by now, you know, it would have either dropped it or fed off it and finished but it seems as though it's still um, feeding and still got some nutrients now I'll try and see if we can get another view of it but it's difficult because it seems as though it's flown quite far no wait there it is we can see it again so let's have a look from here Senzo maybe here will be better let's have a look it's amazing how much green is on the marula trees already you can see the tree that it's flown into actually looks as though it's got lots of leaves there we go so that marula tree has gone from dead in three four days ago or not dead but completely leafless four days ago to look at that it's now full of leaves and looking a little bit more summery but our marshall eagle has gone in underneath there and is just still feeding on the back legs of that Diker. So, Tony, you were wondering if the leaves are coming out. Yes, slowly but surely. I can see some of the bush willows are starting to leaf now, some of the marulas. So, slowly but surely, we are seeing it. As soon as we get a bit of sun, it's going to be an explosive process. And as the sun comes out, all of these things will leaf up quite fast. But it's amazing how much that bird has eaten. If you think of the size of that prey item it is not small and it, it takes a lot of energy to drag that thing around i must have sat all night with it making sure that it fed on it and, and didn't drop it down to the the floor where things like hyenas would have tried to go after it so amazing to see that it's still hanging on 12, 12 hours later and let's see if it's going to feed it looks like it might i would imagine that that bird must be absolutely full 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 and crop must be massive on it given that it's eaten as much as it has and at the end of the day when you think about it for a bird that size to have that much power to lift that off the ground feed on it and actually consume it it just goes to show you how big these guys are i mean that's prey animals that leopards go after so our big cats will go after baby diker those wild dogs that ali's with will kill one of these so it just goes to show you how big a prey item it is and just how powerful these martial eagles are See now it's using that big beak just to tear at the flesh, get in between. So cool to see. I mean, these things are not things we witness every day. Now, I believe talking about kills and feeding, the wild dogs have made a kill, so let's quickly jump across to Ali. <laughs> 